Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today I'm going to show you how to modify uh, Sapphire Tricks. So here we have three different versions of it, just because I like to keep track, like, compatibility issues with various GPUs, so I keep a lot of different versions of Tricks on, on store. Uh, so I have 4.9.1. Uh, this works for my 7990. For some reason, the other two versions don't work for the 7990, even though it looks like they would. Um, but yeah, and then 6.1.0 works for Fury cards. Uh, so Fiji, so R9 Nano, uh, Fury X, R9 Fury, uh, as well as the 480s and should work for 580s. I don't, I think it, it probably works on a 580 since it's still technically just a 480. The thing is, I ha don't have a 580 to, ch uh, to check that with. So today I'll be showing you how to be uh, some hex editor tricks you can do to Sapphire tricks to make Sapphire tricks a lot more uh, useful. So let's get my hex editor opened up and I'll just move this over. Bam. And so for the hex editor, I use HXD. Um, it's free. Uh, it does automatic backups for you. So if you screw up, you're, you know, covered. Um, yeah, so I just use HXD. Um, so let's start with, say, 6.1.0. So here we have tricks. Uh, if we open it up, uh, it looks like this. It's really ugly. The voltage limit is very low. It goes from minus 75 to plus 75. Um, memory clock goes up to 800. Core clock goes up to 1800. You know, it's not it's not very extreme. So we need to cranking up, uh, crank it up a notch. So we'll take tricks and throw it into the hex editor and once we're here we're gonna do f uh we're gonna search for vddc max and we're gonna find this part of the program so basically it goes all the way until here sort of that's sort of all the values you need to worry about so first of all we have default for all cards which we have any sort of vendor uh, there's MVDC, uh, MVDDC disable and VDDCI disable, and those are both set to true. Um, as, well, as a, as a default, um, I don't think in 6.1, like the, the interface for 6.1.0 doesn't actually support those functions at all, and I've never seen them working. I've tried it on my, my cards, and it doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Uh, VDDC max, uh, so this is your maximum voltage. Uh, you can just change that to like, say, 1.5 volts or really whatever voltage you want. Uh, you are limited to only one digit there. So, yeah, so you would want VDDC max 1.4. Then there's use driver voltage uh, equals true. I'm not entirely sure on what that does. Um, but actually, no, this will basically, so all the voltage applications should go through the driver if you have that enabled. Uh, you might want to experiment with that yourself. Um, and if you're experimenting with that, I recommend being very, very careful as it would probably bypass any safeties the driver might implement. So that's something to look into. Then we get VDDC offset max. Uh, so this is the maximum offset, which 0 0.2 volts, so that's 200 millivolts. That's plenty uh, for your stock offset as one point, uh, the, generally the VDDC max of 1.4 uh, mostly applies to cards that ship at like 1.2 volts or 1.15 volts. So essentially 0.2 is the same as 1.4 uh, if you consider it from that point of view. Of course, if you're on liquid nitrogen or something, you might as well punch in 1.7. <laughs> that, that'd be a much more useful range. Now, uh, so we get through the offsets, then we get GPU clock slider range max. So you can actually change that to like two. Oops. Don't ever press delete. Don't ever do that. 2.0. Only ever overwrite values. So 2.0. Uh, so now we can do two times the stock uh, core clock, at least like set it in software. And then 2.0 for memory clock as well. Uh, that's actually achievable on liquid nitrogen with uh, with HBM. HBM on liquid nitrogen goes really, really high. Um, so yeah, and then we get into the actual GPU specific for so Tahiti XT. So this would apply to like HD 7970s. Uh, I don't have a 7970 to test this with, 
Um, so I'm not sure if this will work, but if you have the, well, I'm not sure if 6.1.0 works on 7970s. I know 6.1.0, which is this version of tricks we're modding here, uh, doesn't work on the, my HD 7990. For my 7990, I have to use 4.1.4. Uh, no, yeah, 4.9.1. There, not 6.1.0, which is this version. But if you have a 7970 and it turns out that this version of Trix does support voltage control on a 7970, you can just put 1.4 or whatever other voltage you want, 1.5, 1.6. Uh, really depends. If you're into undervolting, then you can set your minimum voltage to less than 0.8, um, you know, 0.5. You can really set whatever you want there. So I'm just going to leave it 0.8 because I don't really wor bother with that. So 0.4. Uh, then we get Tahiti Pro. That's the 7950. So we can put 1.4 there. Then we get Tahiti Ali. So that's the even smaller cut of a 7950 so that's like a i think uh 7870 xt or 7870 le card um two gigs of vram it's like a really cut up tahiti die it's actually a really good value for money card well was a really good value for money card at the time and it does support crossfire with 797 uh 7950s 7970s and 7990s admittedly you get limited to two gigs of vram so yeah, uh, then we get to, so that's Tahiti Ali, and we just set the VDDC again to 1.4. Um, and we have Bonaire. Bonaire is really dodgy with uh, support. I think you need to use 4.9.1 for that, or 5.2.1 for bon Bonaire. I haven't worked with a Bonaire-based GPU in a while now, so I wouldn't know if this, this VDDC Max of 2.0 actually works for that. I kind of doubt it, and actually... If we look at it, yeah, I don't think it works. So that might be completely broken in this version of Trix. Uh, then we get to Fiji. And that's the card I actually have installed in this system, as this is my personal rig, and that runs off of a Fury X. So we have VDDC offset minimum, 0 0.075. So let's crank that up a notch to 200. Um, though that's a bit excessive for negative offsets. And VDDC offset max. And there I do like to run 200. Um, so now we have 0 0.2 available to us. And at this point, we're just going to save that. And we also, HXD will automatically make a tricks.exe.back file. So if we now open up tricks, you can see that our clock range goes a lot higher than it did earlier. Um, not that that's actually useful because, well, on air cooling, that's not useful at all. Well, stock cooling, it's not useful at all. Um, because it'll crash instantly at the kinds of clocks that this allows you to access. Now, core voltage now goes all the way to plus 200, as well as minus 100. Uh, the slider does get a little bit wonky, as now zero is offset. Um, and if you are wondering about does this hack actually work, well, let's prove that. Here we have power up GPU Z, uh, and we don't have voltage monitoring. I keep forgetting that it doesn't support voltage monitoring on these cards. Either way, it does work. I've tested it. <laughs> just trust me. Um, it does It does indeed work. You can just crank up plus 200 by doing this mod here. Um, so yeah, so we've saved that version. Now let's say you royally screw up in some way, shape, or form. And I'll actually make two copies of tricks here. Because these are like, I'm trying to keep track of the vanilla, uh, vanilla versions. So, you know, this is just a copy. And let's get HXD open again. Open up, damn it. Throw that in there. And I'm stupid. There, I just deleted all that. Let's, let's just, you know, ruin the entire thing. Uh, save this. And so first thing you'll notice that tells you something went wrong is the little Sapphire Tricks icon will disappear. Then when you try to run this, uh, you get, you know, copy is not a valid Windows 32 application. Uh, you sometimes get like it doesn't launch. Depending on how far in the file you screw it up, you get different errors. Um, so right there, I basically screwed up the header for the file. So let's close that, delete that. Uh, yes. And then we can rename this, which is automatically created for us by HXD. 
And boom, we have tricks again. And if we actually delete that version and that version and then edit the name of this version, you get the completely bone stock tricks with its old seven low voltage offsets and everything. So yeah, you can modify tricks like that. This works for all three of these different tricks versions. Uh, 4.9.1 is what I use for the 7.990. Um, so if we throw that in there, and then again, you just always just search for VDDC. Um, there, uh, max, but if, you know, VDDC is enough. I wonder if this supports Bonaire. We have Tahiti, Bonaire is right there. Hmm. Okay, need to figure out, I need to get my hands on a Bonaire card again, because I haven't worked on one of those in ages, and I kind of miss it, because those were fun little cards to play with. But yeah, this is 4.9.1, and you can see it's pretty much the same thing, except here I think the MVDDCI disable, uh, you actually have a chance of getting that working, uh, if you just set those to zero. Uh, your card has to support those, though, and some 7.9.70s should support that. Uh, some 7870s, I think, might as well. Um, but, yeah, it really depends on what card you have. There's no harm in actually setting those to zero. The application will still work. So, yeah, and then you get the usual voltage limits, which you can set to whatever you want. Uh, you get Tahiti XT, uh, Tahiti Pro. Malta's not actually listed here. And I think the f default for all cards is the problem. If the card isn't uh, specifically named somewhere in this area... Um, in general, you, you're going to have a pretty, like, getting it to, uh, work on certain kind of cards is really problematic. Like, uh, 4.9.1 supports the 7990, but all the other versions of tricks I have, which are 5. no, 5.2.1 and 6.1.0, uh, neither of those support the 7990. So, yeah. Um, if you have a card that this doesn't work for, I recommend, uh, you know, trying out the three different versions. I'll put links down in the description to, well, I'll put a link to both 5.2, well, actually, I'll put a link for all three of the different versions I have in the description. Um, not my modified versions, but, like, the download links from Sapphire's website. I'll add those there, because they're still available. It's just really, like, Sapphire still stores the, the, still stores all the different versions of tricks on their website. It's just there's no download link that you can click directly. So I'm go I got kind of lucky that I found a way to get to the download for 4.9.1. So yeah, that pretty much covers everything I wanted to cover here. Um, you know, so you can just modify tricks like this for whatever voltage range you, you need on any AMD card. So yeah, this is AMD specific as Sapphire is an AMD, uh, AMD GPU manufacturer. Um, and yeah, um, you know, uh, I guess be responsible with the voltages you set. That, that's one thing to know. 1.6 volts or like 1.8 volts will very quickly, well, basically anything will pass 1.6 volts will very, very quickly, ha well, no, has very high probability of quickly killing your GPU. So, uh, I personally recommend don't set voltage ranges higher than what you actually intend to use. So for most cards, I'd say just set maximum 1.4 and don't go beyond that. So, yeah, that's it for this video then. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, leave a like down below if you liked the video. Like, Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. Um... What else am I missing? Right, and I always and if you would like to support what I do here with uh, actually hardcore overclocking, then you can go uh, check out my Patreon or shirts or PayPal down in the description below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.